Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow or thereabouts. You know, give or take, give or take a day or two. Uh, let's just see what comes up. What do we have? This deck fell out. I went to reach over there, and I pulled out a different deck, and I looked at it, and I moved my hand. Just a, even a hair in the deck, like, f like fell out of the stand over there. Um, you can see where. Down at the bottom, right there. I pulled out a deck up at the top. Anyhow, um, it just it just fell right out. So I was like, oh, well, I guess that's the deck I need to... I mean, it literally fell right out. And I, I swear, I actually uh, went for this one. I went for the one above it. Anyhow, um, we're going to take this. Ooh, the King of Cups, because that was the one that flipped. You know, it jumped in my hands. We have the King of Cups. This is a feeling king. This is your King of Hearts, King of Love, okay? Um, this king has a big heart, and he's looking for love. He is looking for love. Very romantic and very charming. Um, so we have, a, we have somebody here that is looking for love, all right? That is the overall energy of the day. And this is a masculine. I know all you guys are going to want all the females going to say, oh, no, it's me. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm not here to appease every single person. This is a masculine that is looking for love. A masculine. And I just wanted to stop for a second. I wasn't planning on starting this quick. I wanted to let you all know the ones that are waiting for their, their three-month forecasts, they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. Gemini's up next, and I'm trying to get to it. I'm having a bathroom remodel going on right now in my house, and it's literally, like, right across the hall from me. And it's really impacted me. It's impacted my ability to do my monthlies, you know, because it's just crazy. It is. I mean, there's so much pounding and sowing and all that going on that I can't I can't do them until till they till they leave you know when they leave then I got private readings to do so it's like I haven't been able to get to it but I told the guy to take tomorrow off so that I can catch up so tomorrow is catch up day so just it's coming Gemini's up next then cancer anyhow um king of cups so this is a feeling king that is ready for love He's looking for love. This guy, his his heart is like, I want some love. I'm looking for love. Oh my gosh. And really looking. The Knight of Swords. This is, I want it now. I'm looking for it and I want it now. Very matter of fact. Okay. So we definitely have a masculine that is probably in a hurry. He's probably in a hurry. He's like, yeah, my heart needs some love. My heart needs some attention here. Okay, so yeah, this is, this is, uh, really, really wanting it. Moving very, very quickly. We have somebody here that is like, I'm not afraid. I have no fear. This guy, and you know, you know this guy is, he's going to, it's like, he, he's, it's almost like he sees something and he's going to go for it. A three of wands. Well, that's what I just said. It's like, what, what does he see? A, a ship out in the horizon. This is a relationship. He sees, he sees an opportunity for a relationship. He has been getting prepared. So we do have somebody that's been getting prepared. And you better get prepared because if you are the feminine, and that's why, and that's what this is. And that's why I made it very clear that this was a masculine if you are the feminine, it looks as though you probably have somebody charging right into your life. It's like here, all of a sudden, too, this is very sudden. It's like all of a sudden, there's this opportunity for love with somebody. All of a sudden, it's like right in front of your face. It's right, it's right in front of your face. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now, this is clinging to control hmm. we're going to have to get a clarifier on that card I wonder if somebody wants to come back you got to be careful 
if something didn't work out in the past and maybe you're being called to focus on your future and not the past, don't keep looking back. This could be somebody coming back. This could be somebody, somebody coming back into your life. It could be. Somebody that is part of your destiny. Somebody that is part of your uh, script. Whatever. This could be somebody coming back around into your life. Somebody may have been waiting for it. And all of a sudden, here it is. This is sudden. It is. It's like a sudden arrival. It's almost like suddenly somebody is coming back around. Something is coming back around. Now, you may have... Oh, well... There may have been another person for a period of time. There could have been another woman that this person engaged with for maybe, what, 10 years or 13 years or something like that. It's like somebody engaged, maybe they engaged, or it doesn't have to be years. This is another woman. But there could be going through a divorce, there could be a split, there could be, this is the end of a contract that isn't meant to be. So somebody may be coming back around after there's a contract or some bad luck, bad karma. Okay, we got, we got bad karma here. Both of these cards. That is bad karma, both of them. Somebody probably engaged themselves with somebody that brought their brought them down or brought them backwards they could have engaged with another woman or another person that brought them backwards somebody was brought backwards by a karmic a karmic contract and it feels like that it's like i feel like that karmic debt there was a karmic debt here. I don't know. Is it paid off or what? Mm, somebody was trapped and stuck in, a, in some sort of karma. Yes, sir. Somebody was trapped in some sort of karma. They were. They weren't seeing that this wasn't compatible. They weren't seeing that it wasn't meant to be. It feels like this person was... Uh, stealing their energy they may have been using them they were whoever they were dealing with this person was um very controlling lacked vision lacked passion lacked ambition lacked drive probably may engage may have engaged themselves in uh premaritable 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 premarital premarital affairs but that's karma there's some sort of karmic contract that has kept somebody stuck but now they're leaving it behind and looking at something else hmm. somebody's about to open up Something is about to open up. Somebody is let go of something. Somebody has. They have. Ooh, passionate new beginning. This is this is a, this is exciting. This is an exciting new start. This is a flame. This is a match. And I want it. I want it. So we got somebody here that is uh, is really seriously about to open up to a new exciting opportunity. It's like this is so exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is somebody rushing in, opening up. Letting go of stagnation, letting go of this karmic co karmic contract, rekindling a flame. Somebody is rekindling a flame. 
lighting something up. Temperance reversed. This is frustrated. Somebody may be sexually frustrated. Huh? How'd that come? That just that just came to me. Somebody may be sexually frustrated and they need to, it's like I've gotta go. I gotta go get it. Just saying. I'm just saying. I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to open their heart. And it's like they're rushing. They're in a hurry. It's like they're they're in a hurry. They need to release. <laughs> Somebody is sexually frustrated. I'm sorry, but that is what this is. So it's like they're not, so you you do need to be careful here. You do maybe this is a karmic contract. There is bad luck. There is bad karma here. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Somebody could be coming back into your life. They see an opportunity to get laid. And that's all it is. I mean, that, that could be the case. I just, I'm being honest with you. Just saying. So, let's, what's, what is this person's intentions? What are this person's intentions? Oh. <laughs> Hit it and quit it? Okay, so listen. You got to be careful. You do absolutely got to be careful. Somebody, they may, they may rush in. Open up, have sex, get laid, release their frustrations, and leave. So, you know, I'm just being honest with you. This is uh, no contract. This is bad luck. This is going backwards. So be careful. Just really be careful. You don't want to get yourself trapped in some sort of lie because that is what this is. You could be, there could be another woman. There could be another woman. Maybe this other woman isn't giving. She's not giving nothing. She's not. She doesn't have any, like I said earlier, passion. She doesn't have any ambition. She doesn't have any sex drive. Be careful. Be care Maybe she's engaging with somebody else. That's why she doesn't have any sex drive. This person is like, I don't care who I hurt. I just want to get laid. Now, this could be for male or female. You, If you are the male, you could have a woman who is just using you. She's in love with another man. You could have, a, if you are the female, you could have a man that comes to you with looks as though he has an open heart and he's just looking for sex. So it goes both ways. I'm serious. I mean, you, if you're just looking for sex, then hey, karma's a bitch. When you involve yourself in a third party situation, do expect to get karma. Third party situation right here. You will get bad luck. You may not get it today. You may not get it tomorrow. But you will get it. What goes around comes around. So keep that in mind. So anyway. Move on. Move on. Be careful. Yeah, it's attractive. And, and, and hey, it is very attractive. But there is deception behind it. There is. There's stuff that you don't know. There's stuff that you don't see. And you need to be very, very, very careful. All of a sudden, somebody's going to be right in your face. And it's exciting. And there's an opportunity to have sex. If you take it, you will be sorry. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius a couple times. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Libra. This is going backwards. This is, and this could be, this person could be clinging to control. Because we remember I said that earlier, somebody may, you know, it could be an ex that wants to come back and they want to have sex with you just to keep you hooked. They don't want you to move on. You've got to be damn careful here.
What is the overall advice for today for this situation? Restrain yourself. Seriously. Somebody is, is going to feel weak. You, find your strength to restrain, to restrain yourself. Don't let weakness get in the way. Whoever you're dealing with is a coward. It will, it will undo the healing that you have done. There's lack of strength. There's weakness. But there is deception. There's stuff that you don't know. Whoever you're dealing with has another person. Don't do it. So today is a day of... <laughs> Dealing with some sort of karmic contract, a karmic debt. Protect yourself, defend yourself, stand your ground. Do not fall for this trap. It is a trap. Somebody is trying to be trapped by an X. It's like we have an X. It's, it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it doesn't have to be that sign. Whoever this person is, this person is just trying to keep a person from moving on with sex. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's my advice. Let's get an oracle card, shall we? If I can get over there. It's way, way over. The one that I want to use. You guys will get to see my hair, probably. Whatever. I don't care. Looks good. Anyhow, um, what do we got? One card for today. We got this, this lover here. <laughs> we do. We got this lover. And we got another person that wants to keep somebody hooked. We got two. I'm going to put them back. I'm not going to take either one because I only want to get one. One card, please. One card. There it is. Oh, narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Narrow pathway. Do not make any quick decisions. Think things through. Tread carefully. If you rush into anything, there are potential difficulties. And it's funny how I put those two cards back. Because I knew it wasn't right. Take that as a message. Do not make any quick decisions. Think things through. Tread carefully. If you rush into anything, there are potential difficulties. Keep very focused and do not allow yourself to get distracted. Your project will succeed if you go slowly. The relationship will grow, but don't be in a hurry. Let it all emerge in its own time. Be thoughtful in all, all areas of your life. When the path becomes narrow, success will, ins will ensue if you go slowly and carefully. The traveler takes one step at a time, deliberately and cautiously. No detail of the path is overlooked. Keep your focus on the steps ahead. Do not get ahead of yourself and do not go backwards. Breathe and relax. Be careful. Be very, 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 very careful. I think there's a new opportunity here as well. There is. This is a new opportunity. 
But there's also somebody that sees. It's like they see that you have another opportunity. You got to be careful. You definitely, the moon card is seriously, there's stuff that you don't know. There's stuff that you're not seeing about this situation. There is no rush. And this is a rush. We do have somebody here that is in a rush. If you're dealing with somebody that is in a hurry, that is a red flag. There could be a brand new sexual partner here. Brand spanking new. This person is sexually frustrated and they be, may be in a hurry to get you in the sack. If this person is true and this person has nothing to hide, They will respect you. They will respect you putting up a barrier. They will respect your, you know, need to go slow. So that is my message for today. Good luck.